Hi guys, Penny Rose Journals, how you doing? Um, I'm going to do something with these. <laughs> now, um, as you may or may not have noticed, I have been gluing my, well, sticking my glue pages, folding my glue pages a different way recently, and this is how I've been doing it. I've been folding them into thirds. Um, just reminiscent of you know, folding a, try folding a business letter or something. But, um, up and down the page vertically not horizontally like you normally fold a letter um, yeah what I am doing now is taking two of these and just gluing them together just to make them a longer length now I didn't really have um, a concrete plan of what I was doing here I was just following my nose so Bear with me, the process is a kind of a, a thought process as it goes along as well. So, but essentially I'm just taking a bit of, um, you know, heavy duty glue and gluing two of these together. Now, most of mine are around the same size. Um, they don't have to be. Um, it's probably advantageous for them to be around the same size. But if you've got a bit of, you know, size discrepancy I don't suppose it's too much of an issue um, you'll see I do end up with one that I glue together without sort of checking first and <clears throat> excuse me it does end up um, sort of overhanging a bit but I just put that one aside and use it for an edge um, you could glue them like this too if you were concerned about um, you know things popping up and whatnot but um, I chose not to do this <laughs> because it was a bit fiddly but yeah you could um, slot one inside the other and definitely have a neater finish but um, for the finish I was you know, needing this was quite sufficient just gluing one on top of the other so these are not properly glued down either I mean they are glue pages they're just um, they've just got whatever glue you know overlapped from whatever I was gluing on top and then they were just folded up so they're not particularly um, securely glued down um, again not an issue in fact in the end of the day I think it makes the project in the end feel rather good the fact that they're not securely glued I'm just kind of trying here to match up the sizes just in case I do have a bit of a size discrepancy um, yeah. Also, um, I began, um, here starting to, um, flatten my strips a bit. That was the one that was <laughs> a bit wonky. A bit of a size discrepancy there. Um, yeah, I will go back in the end and, um, run just a card over the the ones I've already glued but um, yeah I just found it easier to get them all correct if I did this and made the creases a bit more crisp so anyway um, this is what I'm doing I will cut out quite a bit of this because yeah I'm just doing the same thing over and over again and then we'll move on to the next thing Okay, they're all flattened down and glued together and the whole shebang. Now I'm going to begin the fun process. <laughs> We've all done this before. We all did this at kindergarten, I'm sure. 
um, I am going to weave them. Now I'm not going to glue them entirely together, I'm just going to put a little dab of glue um, at the beginning um, and when I finished I will probably glue down um, all the edges. But the middle I don't bother to glue at all, um, it's not going anywhere, the edges are glued down. So um, I understand you can't really see the beginning of this <laughs> because it's kind of off camera but yeah. It was a fairly big project, so anyway, um, I will, yeah, just let you watch this. It's basically just under and over. Any any kind of weaving process is all the, always the same. Um, and once we're done, we will um, take it a step further.
Okay, I'll just secure this edge, which um, has a few little bits to re-secure, and then it's all stuck down. Um, this is the raw side. This is where the pages were folded over and joined. Um, so I decided I'm going to cover this because, um, yeah, there's lots of little loose bits on the back. So I'm going to use a piece of um, shopping bag because I use pieces of shopping bag for everything. <laughs> so, we do. so um, and basically they're almost exactly the same size as my um, my paper weave here. So what I'm going to do is use up the ends of those glue sticks that we all have. Um, <laughs> It takes a lot of glue, this <laughs> this project, but um, we all have these little bits of glue that are left in the ends of our glue sticks, and this is the perfect project to use them on. So I've just got myself a palette knife there that I'm going to use to scrape it out, and just an old card to um, scrape it over the surface of my bag, and um, yeah, we'll get a move on and get... Um, get this glue down with a good layer of glue stick glue <laughs> Well, that was, um, it turned out nicely. And this is what I did to it. <laughs> this is just a piece of um, pattern tissue that I have glued down with some PVA and water. It took a while to dry because, yeah, this is quite a thick piece. Um, but, um, yeah, I mean, it wasn't too much of a drama. I didn't, like, wet it through. Um, I just wet the top layer of paper and then put the tissue down and then painted some more over the top. So, yeah, everything's nicely secured and stuck together and not going anywhere. And I thought this would make a fabulous single signature journal cover. So that's what I'm about to do with it. Um, one advantage of the weave is that you have beautiful lines to cut along. <laughs> you don't have to measure anything. It's square already. So yeah, I just cut off a strip on either side and um, yeah, 
made the the sides even and I just had an instant journal cover and it feels really good it's quite squishy it's a bit like quilted fabric so yeah it um it turned out really well I was very pleased with the, the feel of it in the end um what I'll do with those off cuts I'm not sure maybe make belly bands who knows um but yeah, it's uh, it's quite a good little project to use up glue pages for sure and definitely um, feels good in the hands once you're done. <laughs> for the sides, I'm just going to trim the um, excess tissue off that um, one side and then I will cut the other side um, To match the length of the first side um, <laughs> you know <laughs> you know what I'm saying <laughs> and all I'm doing basically is cutting off the um, the raggy ends of the the weave because um, yeah it's it just had a bit of overhang on the edge there so yeah it's um it's all square it's nice and easy to work with um, now I'm going to take it to my sewing machine and just do a zigzag around it. I'm not concerned. Um, my thread actually kept on breaking for some reason. I was using old thread, I think. And, um, yeah, so I wasn't concerned with um, sort of the messy stitching. It didn't bother me at all. Um, it's not like a pristine kind of thing. <laughs> it's a junk journal <laughs> made out of paper scraps. <laughs> so... Just give that bit an extra bit of glue. I pulled it up when I was pulling off the area where the handle of the bag was. And um, yeah, I'll run off and sew around it and bring it back and show you. But that's essentially it. That's um, a nice squishy journal cover that will be. Um, of course, I'm busy with another journal right at the moment, as you know, the massive journal. Um, but this might be my next project. So there we have it, guys. Um, I hope that comes in handy. It was an interesting little project. I enjoyed it. So that's what it's made out of. Just folded up glue pages. <laughs> Thanks for being here with me, guys. Um, yeah, I will see you again next time. <laughs> Bye.